I'm just gonna go for a drive. Okay. okay. Let's see. Whoop beep. Oh. How are you? Good. That's good to hear. Would you like me to unpause your music? Yes. Look at that! Ha <laughs> Uh, so yeah, um, hold on. Gotta un un unpause the music. Um, apologize, apologize. I can turn the light. There we go. Um, so yes, I have finished, uh, another project. Here, yeah, let's just look in there. Um, here we go. It is a media station with the RN52 module. Uh, hopefully you can see that. Uh, it's a Bluetooth, P um, module, and I made a little board for it. Uh, 3D printed a box, backwards. Um, got a connector comes out all the way here into this little box right here, which is uh, really just a fancy uh, 3D printed block for just these buttons. And we actually have control for them, so we have pause. Um, previous track, that restarted it, and then next track, yeah. So, got, got some nice Mark Letiri. Um The other buttons, we have volume up and down, although I have Seen that's actually a different volume than I uh, initially imagined. Uh, this button actually doesn't do anything. So, um, yeah, that's it. And then I, oh, yeah, and then the AI. Hold on, that's on my phone. Show how Tasker, um, or how the Tasker process works. So here we have, like I said, the profile. Nope. And then go to the task car AI. Um, so we have, originally I was checking if it was, um, connected to the Bluetooth media, or Infinity Media, um, which is the name of that ARM52 on my phone, but since it's triggering on, uh, connect, that doesn't really matter. Um, then it's gonna wait 11 seconds, so there's time for it to start up, and it's gonna say hi, and then, like I said, I had to misspell my name. That was for um, other things that I might I might try and do. So within the first 10 seconds, uh, you're able to use the buttons over here to input commands. So like if you push the previous music button or something, it will um, do something like text someone or uh, something to that extent. But I haven't figured that part out. Then it's going to do voice recognition. So get that, and that's using the auto voice plugin. Then, then it's just gonna say that's good to hear, blah 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 blah. If you if the AVR com or AV comms auto voice communication, I assume, is good, then oh, well, I took out the wait. Then it's going to wait, where's the unpo oh there we go. Um once again it's gonna add prompt for voice. I say okay. Um, Yes, then it's going to say OK, and it's going to unpause the music. And that's how that works. Yep. Um, just a few noteworthy things um, that I found while uh, doing this. So, one is, if you see these pins right here, that's for the USB debugging. And I'm honestly not sure why I decided to put that in there and wire that in. Because, um, so I, I've had this on a SparkFun tutorial, and you only need to use it once. I was like, yeah, you know what, sure, why not? <laughs> Put it, um, add it to the board, even though I will never use it again. Um, so I did that. Uh, let's see what else. So we have USB, micro, little port that comes out. You can't see because it it's under the board, but it goes to a logic level converter to convert from the 5 volt from the USB to 3 volt uh, for the board because it's a 3 volt board, goes to power and such. Um, originally, I had a voltage divider, but I found it found for some reason that as soon as I started playing audio, it either drew too much current or messed up the resistances, and it uh, just turned off for some reason, which was strange. Um, then it comes out to uh, auxiliary cable, 
so that's pretty simple. Uh, this is screwed together, but um, as I, I'll link to the SparkFun tutorial that I used, this is essentially just um, one of these wires. I think the black one is ground. It goes in here, and then there's just a circuit board, not unlike that. It just has um, the wires going out to each button, which just grounds the each signal, which goes to the GPIO pins right there. Very simple. Um, I have found while playing music that it can be staticky sometimes because you turn the volume up to listen to it. And I found that there's actually three distinct volumes, it seems. One is the phone volume, one is the volume of the RM52, and one's the volume of the car, uh, which is kind of strange. I found um, that turning the volume all the way up on the phone and then keeping the low volume on the RM62 and the low volume on the car is going to renew, reduce as much static as uh, possible because if you have a high R52 volume, first the startup beeps are going to be really loud, um, and then they also uh, oh, what was it? The, it? It sometimes will clip, so when you're playing music really loudly, it can't actually supply a large enough voltage to the. Um, What's it called? The this thing. <laughs> um, the signal's too great, so it, it just makes that staticky sound, uh, which is not good. So I turn the volume down with this button. Unfortunately, uh, it's well, it's not working quite right, but all the other buttons are fine. Um, another nice thing about this button layout, which hopefully you can see. There we go is because I'm driving and my eyes are on the road, you can actually figure out which button you're pressing just by feeling the surrounding buttons. So here you know that if you feel three buttons on the left side, you know you're right here. No buttons on the top and uh, one button on the top right. You know exactly where you are. That's another nice thing. Uh, um, I think that's about all. That was just a cool project I've been working on. Um, I may add to the Tasker AI. Uh, I'm actually fairly new to that, but it's been working pretty cool so far. Um, yeah, and that's all for this project. Bye!